going to Arizona. <laughs> this is Bill and Bob right here. Bill and Bob. They're bargain horses. Bill and Bob. They're 10 Bill years old. Bob. Right over there we have the Sarah Granger Kimball home. Now Sarah Kimball, well, she organized. Back yeah. up, Bill and Bob. Bob. Please back up. Come on there, Bill. Bill, please back up. Come on, help me, Grandma. <laughs> oh, please, please back, back up. up. My gosh, you've got to help me. <laughs> Just wonderful to be poor and not with that carry. And if we don't make it back before dark, we'll sleep under the wagon. <laughs> we'll have them buffalo chips to eat us with. Build a little fire. Look at them cherries on that cherry tree. Now, if I can be right out there, we have one of our tulip patches. Last spring, that kind of was so very, very good. Right here by the back of that restroom, we have two nanny goats with their kids. They have the tinsmith. I'm a cowboy out there in the I don't, but I so like to fish. That tinsmith in there has got a pair of tinsmiths, almost as big as my fish. But you go in there and let him tell you about it. Right here we have the Browning gunsmith. He was also a farrier, a man that shot horses, and a blacksmith. But you go in there and let him tell you about it, there in the gunsmith shop. Browning. Mm -hmm. Hey, Grandma, you ever played post office? Well, a long time ago. Been a long time. Look back there in that window. <laughs> See that lawnmower? See the lawnmower back there in that window? I call that lawnmower hard work. Right here is the John Taylor home, third president of our church. He was over there with Joseph from Harvard. Right there. Right, there. right here we have the newspaper office. I Took my ad, put me on the back page, misspelled the name. And still inside the church, there in the post office, president of our church, colonizer, master carpenter. You go in there and let our tour guides in the Brigham Young tell you about Brigham Young. Oh, look at that flower. Is that a white flower? White flower? Right there? White flower? Right there. We get to go to that home? No, nope. see, private residence, not for tours. Oh, yeah. That's where the missionary kept the flu. Oh, okay. oh, what happened? Here's the blacksmith shop right here. And fire shop. Oh. Then we're going to go right down the parlor here just a little ways towards the 70s house. Come on, Bill and Bob, let's go do it. We might run over half these tour guides and tourists here. We're, we're going down Main Street. There's my upper right there. February the 4th in 1846. Went down and was ferried across the Mississippi River. Look back at these beautiful homes that left. A lot of them never even sold it. Had the furniture in it, everything. Call this the Road of Tears. Road of Tears. Right here ahead of us, the 70s Hall, a modern day MTC, Missionary Training Center, here in Nauvoo in the 1840s. You go there and let our tour guide tell you about the 70s Hall. All right. Now what we're going to do is turn around here, and when these horses turn around, they think they're going back home. 
So hang on to your neighbor, <laughs> your children. Fasten your seatbelt. Ah. Is everybody ready? Yeah. You ready? Oh. Come on, Bill and Bob, let's go do it for it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Shall we do it once more? <laughs> huh? Shall we? <laughs> what do you say? Shall we do it once more? Uh, yeah. Would your heart stand it once more? <laughs> yes. Right over there is a red brick store of Joseph Smith in Idaho. We graze them right there by the Teton Peaks. It's dry out there, too. Look at that yellow flower. Herbs. Right there's a charge C riser, cheap boot and shoe manufacturer. You go there and let our tour guide tell you about manufacturing shoes. We're coming up here onto the main street of Old Nauvoo, and according to Ripley, this street here is the straightest, longest main street in the world. That both ends run into the same room. The latest addition to our restoration. They opened that out up last summer. But right here is the cobbler shop. David Butler cobbler. That shows you how that looks before they restore it. And they haven't told me whether they're going to restore that or not. Top, what, what kind of a bird is that right there? Look at that beautiful little bird. That is not the baby robin. He's got them not big enough. Look at old duplex. We have two missionary couples living in that little duplex. It's my job to count the brick in that every morning. <laughs> this morning there was 40,000 bricks in that duplex. <laughs> right there we have the home of Saddam Adam Dunn. That's, we have a missionary couple living in there too. You any of you folks from Arizona? Persons live in there. This is a Joseph Coolidge home. They have a demonstration in there of candle making, pottery. And there were seven brickyards here in Nauvoo. This one of the seven brickyards. You go there and they'll tell you all about making brick, where they got the clay, how they fire them. So we put a little mark on that there Ford from Utah. And we ought to put a little mark down the side, just put a little green paint on him. No? Right there's the Heber C. Kimball home. Where? Right the big home. That one. Is it open? Right up on the corner is uh, Winslow Far. That's where I and Sister Sperry live. But this Heber C. Kimball right here on this other corner. Leroy Kimball in 1954 come there and he bought that property and started restored the summer cottage. When he restored that home, he had so many people looking at it. Could not spend a night in it. Went back to Salt Lake and farmed a Nauvoo River. This here home is like the school over there. Made out of them big split logs. Put the flat board over it. Flew away from the home. Right here's the lion drug. He grew his own herbs. He was a herb doctor. She grew his own herbs around the house. Also a variety store. But you go in there and let our tour guide tell you about the lion drug. Now we look at the top of this here tree. Wow. See where it's cut right off? Blew way over there in the tornado in 1990. That took all the foliage off of this one down here. It's coming back a little bit right now. We run over a Volkswagen back there. We're ready to survive Going back to the barn. These horses go back to the barn. Yeah. They really like to take off. Now, if you like your eye tours, tell everybody, would you? I do. But if you don't like them, don't you tell nobody. When you stand up, don't bump your head. Okay. Be careful getting off. Okay. Somebody count how many we have on here for me, please. Just stand back now and we'll be off in just a minute. 25. 25. Thank you.